people of God. We church people should not be concerned with how many members are in church, but how many have been saved. Here is Mr. Any, pretending to be a Christian, but is a wolf in sheep's clothing. What is his mission here among the people of God? Can darkness be in the midst of light? No! Capital no! Look at Mr. Any praying. Who is he praying to? There is prayer, and there are prayers. There is fasting, and there are fastings. Where there is no Spirit of God, he would likely pretend to be among, and carry out evil. This is why the Bible states clearly that we should watch and pray. See how wheat was separated from the chaff. Wise man Daniel moving under the check and conduct of the Holy Spirit encounters Miss Annie wearing a fine white native and spectacles. Immediately the spectacles are removed. Wise Daniel continues with the deliverance in the power of the Holy Spirit. Mr. Annie's reaction shows early signs of demonic activity. Mr. Annie tries to deceive and mislead the wise man, giving gestures that he is okay. <laughs> But wise man Daniel is not convinced by Mr. Eni's deception and never gives up praying for him in Jesus' name. This time the deliverance has gone to another level, gradually exposing the man's real spiritual nature. Wise man Daniel offers spirit-filled prayer in order to uproot every power of darkness in Mr. Eni's life. As the deliverance continues in the synagogue church of all nations, the fire of the Holy Ghost forces the demons to show their real colors. The man's movements continuously change as the different demons possessing him manifest their own diabolic characteristics and actions. The fire is getting too much, and the man tears his native top out of frustration and much agitation. He begins to spit out poisonous saliva, a demonic attack. Wise man Daniel continues to call down the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume every atom of darkness in his spirit, soul and body. The man tosses, turns and spins, actions that express that he is not at ease with himself as he undergoes the deliverance. Satan powerless in the face of God's armor and weapons. The man tears his pants to pieces as the fire of the Holy Ghost continues to descend upon him. He then quickly reacts, getting off the ground in an attempt to put on his shoes. But wise man Daniel pours the light of God on his shoes, sending the demonic spirit inside the man running. He tries to escape making animal-like movements down the side of the church, before coming to a complete standstill. The demons inside of the man are in total disarray. Satan is powerless in the face of God's armor and weapons. Wiseman Daniel commands the man to go back to where he was in Jesus' name. Remember, 
The child of God was created to be master over every power of darkness in the world, whether it manifested itself in the form of creatures that move in the air, on the ground, or in the sea. He was created to be master over them. One of the demons possessing the man poses in its diabolic posture and looks around for where it can attack. Wise man Daniel commands the man in the name of Jesus Christ to go down the stairs. And is eventually brought to his knees. The demons inside the man is in complete disarray, realizing that his powers are no match for the name Jesus Christ. He begins to look for a way of escape and peeks down the stairwell to try and flee from the wise man, a sign of defeat. In desperation, he reaches out his hand down the gap, but there is no chance. Wise man Daniel swiftly puts the man back in its place. You can the then I, the queen, will win. If you do, who can not win? I, the queen, will win. I will blind you. You'll do what? I will blind you. You'll do what? I will blind you. The wicked and demonic nature of the man continues to be uprooted as he slithers on the ground before launching saliva at the cameraman and others gathered at the scene. He then straightens and manifests into another demon. Nothing seems to be working and he makes yet another attempt to run away from the wise man, this time launching up and over the wall and onto the gallery. But wise man Daniel commands the man to come back. The man under the influence of evil spirits slithers on the ground in complete confusion looking around the auditorium. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Whoever follows him will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. The man yet again emits out of his mouth poisonous saliva. all over the ground. At the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every demon shall bow. The man moves off the ground. The deliverance arena has been cleared and wise man Daniel leads the way out for this spiritual combat to be fought in the main auditorium. All systems are go and the battle begins. Televidentes, también pueden... The mighty name of Jesus. I'm a Digo. What have you done to him? This is in the mall. Come back here. What have you done to him? Come here. Come here. Hey! Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. What have you done to him? Speak. Who are you? I am a Digo. Huh? I am a Digo. What have you done to him? Look here. Is it me, the Digo, or who? The Queen? Huh? I'm the Queen. You are who? I'm the Queen. The Queen? I'm the Digo. Okay, how, what have you done to him? Stand up. Stand up! Stand up! How do you do him? Huh? The Queen can never speak. How did you enter this body? But Digo wants to speak. Okay, speak. How did you enter this body? It was because of me he came out. How have you been inside him? And how did you enter him? How long? How long have I been in him? Yes. How long have I been in him? Yes. They begged me for him to come out. How? Ask Martin Eboka. Uh -huh. What happened? He searched me. I'm from Delta State. Uh -huh. Who are you there? I am Idigo. What do you mean by Idigo? What do you, I mean by Idigo? Yes. 
What do I mean by Idigo? Yes. What do you mean by the wise man? What is your name, please? Yes, I speak Igis Apeli Idigo. Out of the mighty name of Jesus. All over your body. Fire! All over your body. Fire! All over your body. Fire! Out! 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 In Jesus' name. The demons Idigun and Queen possessing Mr. Any continue to manifest in and out, taking turns at challenging wise man Daniel, but all in vain. They devised their demonic tactics and tried to execute their attacks, but all proved ineffective. The consuming fire of the Holy Ghost is too much, and Mr. Any finds himself yet again on the floor found wanting, after a superior beating and falls flat on his face. After some time he gets up and looks around the auditorium perplexed and moves off the ground drained after much energy spent and finds a seat. Time has run out in the Sunday service and all other deliverances have been moved over to the Monday life service at the synagogue church of all nations. Mr. Any arrested in the power of the Holy Ghost will have to wait for the Monday live service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations for his final and complete deliverance. Mr. Eni is given a few bottles of water to consume after expending much energy throughout his manifestation. And watch very carefully. Mr. Eni consumes the water in a bizarre manner, drinking from the bottom end of the bottle. The man was given a new set of clothes to wear because the man completely destroyed his clothes during the manifestation and deliverance. He makes his way to the bathroom to refresh himself and put on a new set of clothes given to him. Before dawn, and he left the church premises where he had stayed the night. He headed to the police station to report that T.B. Joshua should be arrested. The police recognized Mr. Any immediately from Emmanuel TV when he was undergoing deliverance and rejected his request. Annoyed, Mr. Any went to reinforce his diabolical power. Equipped, he came back to the church with a black plastic bag. Upon getting to the gate, he was stopped by security who wouldn't allow him to enter without showing them the contents of his bag. To their greatest surprise, they discovered a live chicken. Let's watch to find out what happened next. Here is Mr. Eni returning to the Synagogue Church of All Nations Auditorium after escaping the church grounds during the night. He brought back with him a plastic bag containing all kinds of diabolic items and materials. The security would not allow him to enter without showing them the contents. He takes a live chicken out of the bag and hides it under his arm. Where did Mr. Any go during the night? And what is the live chicken for? Let's find out. I want to report to the station. Police, they say they cannot arrest TV Joshua. For what? Is there anybody above the law? Bring the nylon, bring the nylon. He then brings out of a plastic bag a live chicken and rips off its head with his mouth before spreading the blood all over his head and tossing it on the ground. Blood gushes out of the chicken as it continues moving around without its head. What could be going through his mind? I don't know, but for someone to bite off a live chicken's head off like that, something's not right. Yeah, that's not normal. Let's see who this man really is. How are you? Where have you been? I've been looking for you since yesterday. Where did you go? I have been timing me around. So, I went to report to the station. Okay. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Just outside the Synagogue Church of Old Nations Auditorium, as and Daniel ministers prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name, and the final battle is underway. Immediately Mr. Eni begins to feel the fire of the Holy Ghost burning him, and he jumps out of his seat and walks over to where he kept a plastic bag filled with demonic items. He reaches into the plastic bag and brings out the chicken he sacrificed earlier and spreads the blood over his head. Mr. Eni implements a diabolic method to gain more evil power to challenge the wise man. The name Jesus Christ is more powerful than all the combined forces of hell and earth. Wise man Daniel, not phased by his diabolic method, continues fervently praying in the power of the Holy Spirit and sends the Spirit in the man jolting in circles and climbing up the wall. Mr. Eni makes an effort to charge himself up, bouncing and dancing and even hopping up and down the wall to employ another demonic power boost. But wise man Daniel is quick to disable it in the name of Jesus Christ. Down! Come down! Come down! Jesus, what are you? Come down! Come down! Come down! All over your body! Mr. Eni is frustrated, wondering why the sacrifice chicken blood is not working. He sprints over to the sacrifice fowl to apply more of its blood over his head in order to enhance and maximize his demonic power in the spirit realm. Mr. Eni demonically empowered moves over to challenge the wise man once again and begins to attack. It fails miserably and he finds himself mesmerized and disappointed. Wise man Daniel counteracts using his foot as a point of contact for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Wise man Daniel continues commanding the fire of the Holy Ghost over Mr. Eni, and the demons possessing him begin to burn in an inferno of heat. The heat is unbearable for Mr. Eni, as he carries on fidgeting, twitching and moving about restlessly. Another demon is exposed in Mr. Eni, as wise man Daniel continues praying without ceasing. You Python, move! 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 You Python, move! The spirit of Python is uprooted and begins slithering and rolling on the floor and the manifest and springs up from the ground into another demon. You can see the way he has fixed himself into a sitting position with his two hands molded together. Yet again another demon manifests in Mr. Eni and parades about. Wise man Daniel continues casting fire on him in Jesus' name. The victory is closing in as Mr. Eni lays flat on the floor, slithering like a python on its back. The battle between the stone and the water. In time, the water wins. Let's watch intently what happens next. I'll talk. Okay. I'll talk. Okay. I'll talk. Who are you? Who are you? I'm a I'm a digu. What have you done to him? It's not to the father. Huh? <laughs> when the mother was pregnant, huh? <laughs> they came to me. Huh? <laughs> the woman could not deliver. Huh? She was at a dying spot. Huh? <laughs> Martin, he broke. Huh? Begged me, pleaded. Huh? Begged, okay. pleaded, uh -huh. and I agree with his begged. Uh -huh. He gave him my water, okay. and immediately uh -huh. after he gave the mother of this boy, uh -huh. he gave birth to this boy and gave it into my hand. What have you been doing in the life of this boy? <laughs> I will talk. Speak! What have you been doing to the boy? Nothing could not maintain the oracle anymore. Uh -huh. That's okay. Uh -huh. Let me walk into this boy. Okay. I've been protecting him. Uh -huh. I've been protecting him. Uh -huh. No danger will harm him. Uh -huh. But he's mine. Uh -huh. He's what? He's mine. He's yours? Yes. Since you've been living inside him, what have you done to the family as an oracle? Uh -huh. 
My lawyer was the queen. Came also to drag the body with me. But later I agreed. But before then, the father suffered. There is no sickness that this body not sick. I'll talk. How many of you are living inside him? How many of you? Huh? We are two. Okay, mention. You did good the oracle. Uh -huh. Who? And the queen of all queens. And the queen of all queens. Okay. The queen of all queens, the queen of the coast. Okay. Uh, uh, one mom did you. Uh, I will talk. If I leave this boy alone, where will I go? Huh? If I leave him alone, where will I go? No. 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 I did you. Go for who? No. I'm the Digu. I am the Digu. Pour assister la grâce de ce jeune homme, pour aussi que les Idigou, le dieu du fer, et aussi la reine de toutes les reines, la reine de la côte, pour te vivre dans son corps, pour le posséder. Why will I live here? Since 27 years and he was born into my hand. What do you mean? Tell me. This is my son. I brought him to this world. This is my world. Vous vous continuez à parler, dire que c'est mon fils. Il n'a pas de moyens, il a des petits pots. Je suis un petit pot. Non. Je suis un petit pot. Imagine que Jésus Christ est de ce corps. Imagine que Jésus Christ est de ce corps. Je l'ai apporté à ce monde. Personne ne peut le toucher. Personne ne peut le toucher. Personne ne peut le toucher. Oui, c'est moi. Il a ce qu'il veut. Il a ce qu'il veut. Out the, the Oracle Edegun that possessed Mr. Eni for 27 years began to talk, confessing that the father gave the mother and the boy to him. Later the Oracle Edegun entered into the boy, along with another demon, the Queen of the Coast. Urine pours out of Mr. Eni as the fire of the Holy Ghost continues to torture the demons, signaling that the deliverance is almost complete. You think you can do it? The Oracle Idagoon is out, and there is urine all over the floor. The Oracle Idagoon that had possessed any for 27 years is out, and the Queen speaks out of Mr. Any saying, It is only the Queen remaining. The Queen of the Coast is now in complete control of Mr. Eni and parades about in its final attempt to take on the wise man. The Queen prances around the wise man, but is suddenly stopped. Mr. Eni stretches out his hand to attack, but is unable to, and continues again parading around the wise man. The Queen attempted a demonic attack, but it fails miserably. Find the mighty one, Jesus! Find the mighty one, Jesus! Find the mighty one, Jesus! And is now tamed on the ground. The demon can manifesting moving its tongue like a snake. And once again slithers on the ground. It lays on its back exhausted from the battle. Come out! I'll get you! Come out! I'll get you! Go! Go! I'll get you! Go! Go! The queen of the coast that still remains inside Mr. Eni is... Mr. Eni rolls and struggles desperately around on the ground. 
and attempts a final attack, but it doesn't work and has now run out of options as it lays defeated on the ground. Et essayer d'attaquer l'homme sage sans pouvoir le faire. Le feu du Saint-Esprit est en train de la consommer. Nous sommes en ce moment de la terre et de la terre, la libération de l'homme. Merci, Lord Jesus, pour cette délivrance. Merci, Lord Jesus, pour cette délivrance. En Jésus, mighty name, vous êtes déclaré free. Vous êtes déclaré free. Merci, Lord. Stand up. Stand up, vous êtes free. Qu'est-ce qui se passe à vous Mon frère, viens. Come, come, come. Don't worry, come. You're my friend, come. Don't worry, you're free, eh? Don't worry. I'm okay. You're free. Thank How are you? I'm fine. Why are you, are you like Off this? I'm ashamed now. Look at me. I'm dirty. I'm dirty. I'm dirty. You are what? I'm dirty. You are dirty? Yeah. Okay, you don't know what happened to you? People surrounding me. Eh? People are surrounding me. I'm ashamed. Okay, you don't know them? No, I don't know them. When you came to church here? My eyes is turning me. My eyes turning you. Okay, you need some rest? What happened to you? Hmm? What happened to you? I'm weak. Eh? I'm weak. Okay, you don't know what happened to you? I'm weak, I'm weak, I'm weak. Do you know what happened to you? I don't, nothing is in me. Hmm? No intestine, no food, nothing. Everything is out. I'm weak. You are weak? I'm weak. Come, let me show you something. Okay, who brought these things? Hmm? Who brought this? Brought this fowl? Yeah. Who brought it? I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. You're not the one that brought it? Me? No. Yeah? No. No. I'm not the one. You're not the one that brought it? I don't know anything about fowl, please. Yeah. I don't know anything about fowl. You anything about it? No, I don't know anything about fowl. But you're the one that brought this? No. You use your mouth to cut the head, like fowl? No. Are you laying an allegation on me? No. You're not the one that use your mouth to no. cut? No. No, I do not do anything like that. It's funny now. Yeah, you are delivered. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm delivered. I'm, I'm not heavy again. I'm, I'm light. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm free. After the deliverance, the chicken Mr. Any's sacrifice to gain diabolical power was burnt. Watch what happened during the burning of the chicken. Mr. Any appears from out of the bush, where he had left the black plastic bag that contained the chicken that he formerly sacrificed, to enhance and maximize his diabolical powers, when he was under the influence and control of demonic spirits. Mr. Any then pours kerosene all over the dead chicken, and then draws out a match, lights it quickly, and then tosses it on the kerosene. Immediately the sacrificed chicken caught on fire and burst into flames. Something unusual happens and Mr. Any somersaults away from the bonfire and lays stagnant on the ground. What could have forced Mr. Any to have somersaulted like that onto the ground? Mr. Any slowly gets up from the ground and looks around. He appears to be in a state of shock. Is Mr. Any okay? Or has something happened? The sacrifice chicken continues to roast in flames. And Mr. Any stares intensely into the fire. In a deep state of sober reflection. The evangelist wakes Mr. Any up from his deep concentration and lightly asks Mr. Any about his condition. Another evangelist notices Mr. Any's unusual behavior. <laughs> Mr. Any tries to signal with his hands that he has become deaf and dumb. Uh, Mr. Any, we saw that the moment you burns the chicken you were using before as a sacrifice, you began to roll all over the ground. What happened? You fell down. What, you fell down. What happened? The interview confirms that a deaf and dumb spirit has entered Mr. Any, and he is now unable to hear or speak. 
So you cannot hear at all what I'm saying. You cannot hear me. Okay, look at me. So it's very clear our brother cannot hear or talk right now after burning the chicken he had been using before in sacrifice. But we thank God Almighty that God Almighty is in complete control of the situation. His voice, his hearing will be restored so that he'll be able to expose to the world exactly how he has been using these evil powers and these demonic spirits. So viewers around the world stay with us. We are going to hear from him and hear his confession very shortly after God Almighty sets him free from this spirit that is causing him right now not to be able to speak or talk or listen. Mr. Annie is then taken to meet with wise man Daniel for healing and deliverance in Jesus name. Let's watch what happens. How are you? Your voice, how are you? Speak out in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. How are you? Jesus wants to hear your voice. How are you? How are you? Speak. You can hear me. I want to hear you. Speak. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? On va brûler le sacrifice du poulet que l'habitude de faire et on ne saurait mieux. On va mettre un message prié pour ses oreilles. C'est la libération de cet homme avec l'esprit. En ce moment, sans parler, sans écouter. How are you? How are you? Hey! Hey! You deaf and dumb spirit, I declare you out. Out! 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 The mighty name of Jesus, you deaf and dumb spirit! Out! The mighty name of Jesus! Out! Out! Leave this body! Leave this body! The mighty name of Jesus, you deaf and dumb spirit! Out! You deaf and dumb spirit! Out! The mighty name of Jesus, Jesus wants you out! Come out! You deaf and dumb spirit! Come out! Come out, you deaf and dumb spirit! Come out, you deaf and dumb spirit! Wise man Daniel commands the deaf and dumb spirit that entered Mr. Any when he set the sacrificed chicken on fire. You can see the evil spirit manifesting in Mr. Any's body as he repeatedly spins in circles on the floor. The deaf and dumb spirit struggles to stay connected to Mr. Eddy as the fire of the Holy Ghost continues to descend upon it. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Stand up. As the evil spirit finally loses its grip upon Mr. Eddy. Let's see Mr. Annie's condition now after the prayer in the power of the Holy Ghost. Wise man Daniel uncovers the plastic from the anointing water and prepares to minister it to Mr. Annie for healing in Jesus' name. Stand and sit upright. Stand up and sit upright. To God be the glory. Mr. Eni is set free and commanded to rise to his feet. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What's your name? My name is Eni. You're fine? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What happened to you? That you were not able to talk. What? Yeah, I cannot tell you just that. 
just something came on the hook me on the neck over just I, sw I swallowed I see a sm swallow by a bunch of smoke just just like see I swallow over a swallow bunch of smoke see, and, and that, that was why you could not talk no I did not hear you okay, you could not hear me but I'm hearing you now you're hearing me now yes sir and you can talk now yes sir but before now no I cannot speak before Okay. Where did you see the smoke? There is a uh, uh, poor fuel on that thing that uh, that is the foul and all those things. And after I pour the fuel finish, they gave me matches. As I just light it immediately, the fire just catch. As it just catch, I just will a bunch of smoke. And after that, what happened to you? I fell down, was not my sense, but I was. It, the smoke was it was hurting me in my you know in your chest me. your so chest in my chest my ear so my hand see if i see the, i see if i hit it on something and uh, it want to stiff but now how are you feeling now no i'm fine i'm fine thank jesus thank you jesus i am here thank you jesus i'm here i can talk now i can hear you now i can hear anything you want to say now i can I can hear you, I can, I, I, I can speak fine now. Nous venons de voir la vidéo complète de la délivrance de ce jeune homme qui était possédé de l'esprit du Digou, le dieu de fer, et aussi de la reine de toutes les reines, la reine de la côte, qui le possédait ces deux esprits en lui. On a vu comment sa délivrance a été très terrible, mais grâce à Dieu, Dieu que Jésus-Christ a pris le dessus et a vaincu Satan. Grâce à Dieu, car il a reçu sa délivrance, on a vu comment il a confessé, le Dieu de fer a confessé qu'il lui avait donné depuis sa naissance, car sa mère qui était enceinte ne pouvait pas accoucher de cette idole, lui avait, avait été donnée à sa mère, et en fait il est sorti euh, directement. Et c'est de là que le Dieu Idigo l'a complètement possédé, le Dieu du fer, et aussi la reine des reines, la reine de la côte. On a vu lorsqu'il a essayé de brûler justement ce poulet, qu'il avait l'habitude de prendre pour faire des sacrifices au Dieu du fer, il est devenu sourd et mais l'homme sage Daniel a dû comment venir encore prier pour lui pour faire sortir cet esprit de sourd et mais afin qu'il puisse entendre à nouveau et pouvoir parler à nouveau. Et grâce à rendu à Dieu, il est complètement libre. Nous allons écouter son témoignage dans quelques instants. Observons la libération complète et totale de ce jeune avec des esprits contraires de la reine de la costa et un esprit de idolo. Une impactante libération en différents processus. Recordons que ce fue la semana pasada, dos días de liberación, él estaba arrestado bajo el poder del Espíritu Santo. Observamos las diferentes manifestaciones a través de la oración del hombre sabio Daniel, en donde él después de esa liberación, él, de diferentes espíritus, él huyó, escapó, diciéndonos que había de hecho ido a una estación de policía para detener al profeta Tibillosa, lo cual tal acusación fue cancelada, puesto que lo reconocieron inmediatamente, eh, que él venía de aquella liberación a través de la televisión Emanuel TV. Bien, así él dejó de insistir, él eh, vino de regreso a la sinagoga de todas las naciones de manera oculta con una bolsa de plástico donde en esa bolsa traía fetiches, encantamientos como era una gallina atada en el cual en donde él entró a la iglesia como fetiche, le, la mordió durante el cuello y le esparció en su cuerpo, en su cabeza, para generar más poderes y fuerzas diabólicas para combatir la fuerza del Espíritu Santo a través de las facultades de los hombres, del hombre sabio Daniel, el cual fue completamente sin ningún éxito, puesto que esta liberación continuó, en donde observamos diferentes manifestaciones satánicas y diabólicas continuando en este joven de 27 años, nacido con estos espíritus contrarios. También observamos cómo el ataque consiguió con este ataque eh, de la gallina con sangre ungida, en el cual fue liberado completamente de todos los espíritus, incluyendo el de ídolo, incluyendo la reina de, de la costa, y en el cual observamos también posteriormente en el, video, en el video cómo él regresó a su pueblo, a su aldea, en donde quemó la gallina muerta, en donde esta gallina causó un efecto en él después de la reacción, haciéndolo sordo mudo. Vino finalmente la liberación por parte del hombre sabio Daniel, en donde a través del agua ungida, 
él quedó completamente libre, aparte de todos los espíritus contrarios, de este efecto de sordo mudo después de la liberación. Continuamos. Nous avons vu comment dimanche, ce jeune homme s'est arrêté par la puissance du Saint-Esprit, lorsqu'il a confessé qu'il avait ces deux esprits, l'esprit du Digou, le Dieu du Fer, et aussi la reine des reines, reine de la côte. Ces deux esprits agissaient en lui, se combattaient à l'intérieur de soi. Le, le, le lundi d'après, la réunion d'après, parce qu'il avait été arrêté, il a dit qu'il est parti à la station de police pour pouvoir reporter son histoire à la station de police, qu'il vienne pouvoir arrêter le prophète Tibi de Choix. Mais la police lui a dit qu'il ne peut pas arrêter Tibi Joshua, est-ce que ce n'est pas toi comme nous l'avons vu sur l'écran de la télévision Il a dit lorsqu'il est revenu de la station de police, il a été cherché justement des poulets pour faire le sacrifice, pour qu'il puisse pouvoir acquérir plus de puissance, pouvoir combattre le sage à nouveau. Il est venu avec un sac en plastique où se trouvait justement ce poulet. Il a dit que lorsqu'il est revenu, il a pris sur la sortie ce poulet de son sac, il a coupé sa tête avec ses dents pour pouvoir asperger le sang sur sa tête, pour pouvoir acquérir plus de puissance. Il a vu que cette puissance ne peut pas l'avoir, il a encore recherché encore ce poulet au sol pour pouvoir repasser ce sang sur sa tête. Il a vu encore qu'il n'avait toujours pas de puissance. Le feu du Saint-Esprit est le consumer. Nous avons vu que lorsque le feu du fer et d'Igo est sorti, la reine de la côte a pris le relais et la a dû subir encore une deuxième délivrance pour que cette reine de la côte puisse sortir. Nous avons vu se manifester en tant que femme. Après avoir reçu cette délivrance, nous avons vu le jour d'après pouvoir aller brûler justement les poulets qu'elle avait utilisés pour faire le sacrifice. Et en brûlant ce poulet, nous avons vu tomber encore au sol. Et il a dit qu'il a senti quelque chose, la fumée est entrée en lui et a bloqué sa poitrine, bloqué ses mains, ses mains sont devenues raides au sol et devenu sourd et muet. Nous avons vu comment l'homme sage est revenu a prié pour lui à nouveau pour faire sortir l'esprit sourd et muet afin qu'il puisse pouvoir entendre, envie de boire l'eau d'onction totalement, se retrouver au sol et finalement pouvoir entendre et voir, pouvoir, pouvoir parler et répondre à l'homme sage. Dans quelques instants, on va écouter et maintenant son témoignage reste connecté. Quiero te olvidé de para su beneficio. Observamos el video de la liberación de este joven de 27 años de edad con espíritus contrarios y diabólicos a la luz de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Cabe destacar que este joven inició su iniciación dentro del vientre de su madre. Él murió, en el hecho, en el vientre de su madre, en el cual su madre acudió a hechiceros y a brujos, en donde este brujo fue en donde inició este, este embrión, en el cual creció y dio a luz finalmente. Y observamos, y observamos cómo esta eh, iniciación de espíritu contrario a la luz de nuestro Señor Jesucristo tuvo su ex, eh, se fue ex, eh, expuesto ante la oración del hombre sabio Daniel dentro de la congregación en donde vimos inicialmente que él pretendía ser cristiano estar en el tiempo de oración pero en cuanto recibió el toque de oración por parte del hombre sabio Daniel él empezó a manifestarse con movimientos fuera de lo común sobrenaturales de acuerdo a un movimiento humano vimos diferentes manifestaciones en el cual eh, es el espíritu de reina de la costa y otro espíritu de ídolo en el cual fue manifestado y fue liberado en una primera sección pasamos a otra segunda etapa en donde él regresó a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con una bolsa de plástico donde tenía diferentes encantamientos como una gallina en el momento en que él llegó, arrancó el cuello, mordió el cuello de la gallina, untándoselo alrededor de la cabeza y en el cuerpo, para generar más poderes negativos de la oscuridad, sabiendo que iba a tener esa batalla espiritual nuevamente con el hombre sabio Daniel. Definitivamente, sin ningún éxito, vimos la manifestación, la acción y la reacción nuevamente de estos espíritus contrarios en la vida de este joven de 27 años de edad, en donde fue completamente derrotado. Él nos platica que en este lapso de regresar a la sinagoga, él huyó a, la, a una estación de policía a denunciar al profeta Tibi Yosha, pero desafortunadamente para su suerte, el, el, la, la, la policía inmediatamente detectó que este joven era el cual había huido de las sinagogas de todas las naciones. Así es que no tuvo ningún éxito su acusación. Entonces, él volvió con esta bolsa de la gallina, empezó a untársela en el, durante la cabeza e inició 
el ataque con el hombre sabio Daniel, definitivamente sin ningún éxito. Y finalmente pasamos a la tercera etapa en donde él eh, está completamente liberado, él regresa y está nuevamente en oración con el hombre sabio Daniel, en el cual eh, aparentemente cuando él regresó a su pueblo y quemó la gallina, ese encantamiento que trajo a las iglesias de todas las naciones, hubo una reacción en donde él perdió completamente el sentido, los evangelistas siguieron a este joven hasta su aldea, hasta su pueblo, en donde trataron de hablar con él después de este acto de quemar, de quemar la gallina y todo lo que él había traído, y descubrieron que había perdido completamente el habla y el oído. Nuevamente regresó a la iglesia sinagoga de todas las naciones, y recibió nuevamente oración por parte del hombre sabio Daniel, en donde a través del agua ungida, inmediatamente que el hombre sabio Daniel le eh, impartió, le dio el agua ungida para que la bebiera, reaccionó nuevamente ante este poder de resurrección del agua ungida, y él inmediatamente recuperó el oído y el habla. Manténgase pendiente, aún continuamos con esta impactante liberación de estos espíritus contrarios en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Así es que manténgase pendiente en un momento más. Continuamos. Continuez de garder votre écran dans quelques instants. Nous allons écouter la confession de ce jeune homme, confession très puissante. Nous allons entendre dans quelques instants qui va expliquer comment ce jeune homme a été possédé. L'esprit de Dugo, le Dieu du fer, la reine des reines, reine de la côte, n'a vu le dimanche ce qui est arrivé. Il était dans un simple apparat. Non, mais rien ne pouvait prévoir qu'il pouvait se manifester au sang. On vu comment ces esprits sont manifestés en lui. On vu comment il a fait sortir du venin de sa bouche pour pouvoir attaquer l'homme sage et aussi les personnes autour, autour de lui. Mais grâce au feu du Saint-Esprit, libéré par les facultés des hommes sages, il était incapable de pouvoir attaquer quiconque. On a vu la manifestation du Dieu du fer et aussi de la reine de la côte en lui. Là, il fut arrêté ce dimanche soir et le lendemain, il est sorti de la synagogue église de toute nation pour aller se rendre à la station de police pour pouvoir reporter son cas à la station de police en disant qu'il voulait avoir des hommes pour pouvoir arrêter l'homme de Dieu pour faire tibier le choix. Mais les policiers lui ont dit qu'ils l'ont vu justement à l'écran que qu'est-ce qu'il vient chercher qu'il ne peut pas arrêter les tibier de choix. Il a dit est-ce que le tibier de choix est au-dessus de la loi Et c'est comme ça qu'il est sorti. Il est revenu à la synagogue église de toute nation. Mais en revenant sur le chemin, il s'est procuré des poulets pour pouvoir faire le sacrifice qu'il avait dû de faire à son Dieu du fer, au cas où il devait justement pouvoir se défendre. Lorsqu'il est arrivé, l'homme Sajaniel l'a accueilli, commencé à prier pour lui. C'est là qu'il a commencé à prendre ce poulet de son sachet, l'a déchiré son cou avec ses dents, et voulant répondre le sang de ce poulet sur sa tête en signe de sacrifice pour pouvoir acquérir plus de puissance. Mais malheureusement pour lui, la présence de Dieu étant là, le feu du Saint-Esprit, il n'a pas pu pouvoir acquérir plus de puissance, mais au contraire, justement, sa puissance est en train de diminuer de plus en plus, alors que l'homme sage continue d'appeler le feu du Saint-Esprit sur sa tête et sur son corps. Il a essayé encore à nouveau de prendre ce poulet pour pouvoir acquérir plus de puissance, mais sans succès, jusqu'à ce qu'il se retrouve au sol et commence à confesser qui il est, le Dieu du fer et du goût, et la reine des reines, la reine de la côte, que tous les deux vivent en lui. Et le Dieu du Père a dit qu'il vit en lui depuis sa naissance car le frère de son père est venu le supplier car il est l'oracle de la famille disant que la, la femme de son frère était plus qu'à terre mais il ne pouvait pas accoucher. Il est venu le supplier de pouvoir faire quelque chose. C'est là qu'ils ont pris l'eau qui était au niveau de l'oracle, le Dieu du Père et Digou et ont donné à cette femme et qu'elle a accouché. C'est là qu'Idigou a possédé le corps de ce jeune homme. La confessée, la reine de la côte, a aussi dit que si Idigou ne peut rien faire, qu'elle prendra le relais. C'est là que Idigou est sorti et la reine de la côte a pris le rebais. Mais malheureusement pour elle, le feu du Saint-Esprit l'a aussi consumé ce jour-là et c'est là qu'elle a été délivrée. Et pour pouvoir confirmer justement sa délivrance, le lendemain, il a dû aller brûler justement ce poulet avec lequel il avait l'habitude de faire des sacrifices. Et lorsqu'il a brûlé ce poulet, il est tombé raide au sol. Il a dit qu'il ne peut plus parler, ne peut plus entendre, jusqu'à ce que l'homme sage revienne prier pour lui et enlève cet esprit sourd et muet en lui, pour enlever cet esprit sourd et muet de le libérer et qu'il boive l'eau d'onction, qu'il puisse retrouver sa conscience et puisse entendre la voix de l'homme sage à nouveau. Et la gloire de Dieu, est qu'il est complètement délivré Et dans quelques instants, restez connectés de l'espectateur, donc il allons entendre sa confession complète et comment cet homme a été possédé et qu'est-ce qu'il a subi durant sa délivrance. Restez connectés avec nous. Maintenant, c'est pendiente que... Televidente, en unos momentos más, 
escucharemos finalmente la confesión de esta liberación de este joven de 27 años de edad con un espíritu de costa y un espíritu de ídolo en el cual ha sido completamente y perpetuamente liberado en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo cabe destacar que este joven fue iniciado en el vientre de su madre en el cual el, 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 el bebé estaba ya muerto en el cual su mamá con desesperación lo llevó a un brujo para que lo reviviera desde ahí inició a este bebé en el cual hoy Vimos este joven de 27 años liberado de estos espíritus tremendos en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Así es que manténgase pendiente en unos momentos más. Escucharemos la completa y entera confirmación de este joven. Así es que manténgase pendiente en unos momentos más. Y recuerde que la distancia no es una barrera para recibir en su Señor Jesucristo. Continuamos. Maintenant, dans quelques instants, nous allons voir ce jeune homme sortir des rangs pour pouvoir donner sa confession complète et donner son témoignage pour la garde de Dieu. Restez connectés, téléspectateurs, car nous allons garder en suspens pendant très longtemps. Maintenant, c'est le moment d'entendre la confession de ce jeune homme. Ah, Well, because uh, because of the second service and the time, I will not be able to explain. I will only call the family, let them come out, the, the boy consigned to, to come and explain, I mean, give testimony. And uh, there are a lot of things to explain. One, the boy said he's not the one that actually brought that chicken. He knew nothing about the chicken. But we saw the boy when he was. Are you not surprised about that? So that is that is, is a thing of the spirit. And uh, what is the boy business with chicken? The blood. It's like the it derives power in that blood. Where did you get the, the chicken? And the two. He has a lot of it too. How he, he allowed the saliva to come out at a, a time interval, just like that, which is not uh, normal. Uh, imagine he jumped from one step to another, just like that, and the way he moved and the appearance, you can see a feature of animal, a kind of animal. So a lot of things we need to, you, you want me to explain, but uh, because of time, Well, let's listen to the guide, the boy first, okay, and the family. So, be was all over the world. I know you have a lot of questions. Like one, why the boy was, why is he deaf and dumb? Yes, I think uh, there was an uh, issue that was not followed accordingly. Such thing when they wanted to go out to burn the, the ritual or whatever. The wise man must, one wise man must follow them, must be the one to lead because they are still, that is the final battle. Uh, the final battle is very, very tough. When the battle is getting to the end, it's become tougher. So, I mean, the tea bounce back. So they want to make sure it's not explained anything again. All the tactic and strategy, because it's not part of them. So that is the only thing. Since they cannot take his life, let them seize the voice and they make him deaf and dumb so that he will not be able to say anything more than what he, the one he has said. So I... And there are a lot of questions. And I know if you don't believe so much about the, this deliverance, with what you have seen, I know you are convinced beyond reasonable doubt. The, the family, the father, they are here. Let's listen to them. I'm just seeing them now. The guy is crying. But you see, it's no more lighter like before. He's crying. There's a guy, he's crying. Imagine so much, so much, so much, I mean, thing that happened. 
after the deliverance, he say, why am I here? What is happened to me? So imagine how many those such a thing would be in the body. You understand? He say, oh. If a person like him could say, why am I here? I'm ashamed. What is wrong? What happened? Who brought this chicken? Definitely the people they are delivered here every day. It's similar. You, you can't say, you say ah, why is it happening to me? The world is upside down. So let's listen to the family. Emmanuel. King of kings, the Lord of lords. I bow down before you. <laughs> After my deliverance, close and the wide that you... to the family together. Close wide to the family together. So that we come together. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My name is Enio Boka. I'm from Delta State. Here is my dad. Zoom. Here is the senior brother to my dad. Here is my stepmom. Here is my sister. Here is my cousin brother. Here is my younger sisters. Hmm. So you can see what a responsible family. All of them are here together to rejoice and to thank God for what God has done. Mm. So they, they consider the, what is happening at her now as the greatest thing that, that, that happened to them in life. That is why the whole family, they decided to turn up. They see it as if it's wedding today, it's married today. It's a glorious day to them. They appreciate what God has done in the family. So let's listen to them. After my deliverance, I begin to pray, study the word of God, seriously, morning and night, and the word of God let me to know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. <laughs> I come to realize You see, this is why he's crying. Think about what came out of this young man. It's a small boy, but with what you are seeing happen to him, it's not a small boy. With what he's doing now, also show that uh, really, Satan is a liar. God has a great promise in the life of this boy. A great promise in the life of him. He's crying because he never... He can't imagine what he has done. Okay, let's listen. And then, as I begin to read the word of God, First Peter 5, verse 8, says, Be self-control and be alert. For the devil rules as a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. Mm. So, this is the, the word. This is the word of knowledge with the help of what God has done in my life. I will disgrace the kingdom of darkness. After my deliverance, gets to realize the definition of Satan. One, Satan can be defined as your mistake. That is Satan for you. God wants the best for you, while the devil goes for the best. Have it in mind that Satan does not miss an opportunity.
have it in mind also that your temptation comes from the most precious thing you love or you have. So do not so love anything on earth. I will take it so precious. Do not start a journey that you cannot end. Otherwise, that journey will end you. Double mind cues. Problems are good to be shared with those who have solution, not to those who will look for solution. Rich or poor, sleep like a visitor to live long. The poor speak like a rich man, for any word that comes out of your mouth is a secret of whom you are already. Why you rich speak like a poor man? Because any rich man that speaks according to his richness is a naked man. For the word of a rich man stands as a key to his door. But when a rich man speaks like a rich man, he has dug his six feet. Be proud of your unfavorable condition because your unfavorable condition is your weak point. Mystery of my birth. When I was a little boy, very, very small, my uncle told me that here is my uncle, the senior brother to my dad. He told me that, that when my mom was pregnant, that my dad told my mom to come down to his house at Enugu State. That's called Unsoka. Because it's a first experience of my mom and also first experience to my dad. So they were scared because the pregnancy has stayed overdue. So when my mom came to my uncle for help, for a solution, because he's more experienced than him. Then my uncle was serving one oracle called Idigu, oracle god of the earth. My, they, my uncle has no any other thing to say then, or any power to say, but it depends on that Idigu, the oracle, God of Ayurveda. He now made the oracle because my mom, according to my uncle, that my mom color changed as if she has no blood anymore in her body. You know, mass points as if she wants to give up. Then my dad met, my uncle met the oracle and speak to the oracle. Oracle, since I've been serving you, you have never put me into shape. And I have been serving you fine. And today will not be the first time that shame will weigh me down. Idigu, you know that this woman is a wife of my younger brother. Which means that the wife of my younger brother is as well my wife. And anything that belongs to me belongs to you, Idigu, the oracle of God of Iron. Please help me that this woman will have a safely delivery and that she will deliver fast because this is just the month of 11 months my mom has been carrying the pregnancy. And then he took her hand in the oracle and brought out water from Idigu, oracle of God of Iron. He brought out the water and gave my mom. As my mom drank the water, not quite long, my mom fell into labor. Before you know what happened, my mom delivered me. I am standing here in Eboka. Since from that time henceforth, I begin to imagine a strange things about myself. 
Because why then when I'm in the school, you know, I beat people that of, are, are of age of me. Very far, very, very far, my senior, I was six, six, seven years then, but I beat big people. All the time, my dad keep on receiving complaints from uh, people from the school. You, you must treat my son, uh, that is your, you know, daughter, that, uh, your son that injured them. But my dad will keep on saying, how will a small boy like this beat a grown, not boy like you? Are you not ashamed? But because of that strange power in me, I have a very, very strong power. And because of that mark in me, that devilish mark, it do takes me to anywhere, you know, that I could meet around with the same devilish things. There was a festival around my father's house and I now attended that festival. As I went there, the festival was going on. After the, you know, dancing and everything, they shared food and a drink. I ate. It was the old women there that shared the food and the drink. I ate. When I slept, when I came back home, when I slept, I find myself in another world entirely. And in that world, people there live upside down. They use head to walk while their leg is up, but the head is down. And whereby we were marching on top of people, they use people there as rug or carpet. Even where we sat as a, you know, as a new members, we were sitting on top of people, human beings lying down all over. That is human beings they use as rug over there. The king, we all are having one one head, but the king has its head upside down. We all are upside down, but the king himself has its head. But everything that they were doing there was very, very strange to me or to, the, to us, the new people. So they were dancing, jubilating, and after everything, they begin to share human brain fresh blood to us. When they came to me to give me the blood, I resist. I was stubborn. They dealt with me. I was forced to take the blood. But immediately I took the blood, I began to understand the language they speak. Everything that they do there is no longer strange to, uh, to me anymore. And in physical, I am six, seven years then, but right in there, I am 40 years or 40 something years. And why inside that kingdom there is nothing like old or small? Everybody is mature in that kingdom. So after they shed the blood to, uh, to us and I drank, then the king brought out a very, very big record book and began to call out the names of people over there in that language that I could understand then because of that blood I took. He began to call the whole name. They were 50 in number. So after he called that 50 people out, he began to call them five. He will call, first of all, call five. He will send them. Go to the highway to cause accident so that you can get fresh blood that I will use tonight. And the five people will disappear. And how we disappear is that we will gather our two hands, put it on our private part. We will gather it, our two hands like this, we will fix it like this, and we disappear. So, they call the second people, they call them out. They say, you, we are sending you to the school. Go to the school. Win souls for me. Bring students for me. Share things. Attract members. I want members from the school. The five of them left. The same way they do disappear. They called another people. The hospital. They now instructed. Inside that five people, they instructed two people. They said, two people, your work is 
miscarriagement, bring newborn baby to my kingdom, that later they will come to me to ask of child. Then you, the remaining three people, go, uh, bring the doctors, the nurses, the workers in that hospital, so that I will initiate them and send them back to the hospital, that they can win or initiate more people for me. And all these people are five, five, five. They do send them out. But whereby, when they called out another group, they called out ten group. They say this ten group, that you will go to the church. Church was the place that they sent the highest number of people. They say, you ten people, go to the church, cause confusion, win souls, the pastors, the ushers, the workers in the church, sleeping sickness, sleeping uh, distraction, you know, those people, you know, bring people to my church, it's, uh, bring souls to my kingdom so that I will initiate them and send them back to the church to win more people, to initiate more souls for me. And after everything, they left. And we were still there. The first assignment that was given to me was I was assigned to act as a beggar. We but we were five. When they call we five out, they send me, I will go out, go and act as a beggar and win people, bring people that initiate people, bring them to my kingdom. And I now move up. I went to the dressing room because when if they assign you for anything, you must go to the dressing room to discuss on that the same mission they send you for. So when they send me to go and act as a beggar and initiate people, I stand I stood up, I went to the dressing room. When I get to the dressing room, they asked me what is my mission. I told them my mission is to initiate through begging. They said I should wait here. He's coming. He now entered in. He went and brought clothes. That cloth has only one eye. That cloth is crippled because the way you will appear on earth will determine the type of cloth they give you there. If they give you cloth that has one hand, two legs, when you wear the cloth, when you disappear, if you find yourself in the world, you will have one hand, two legs. If you are complete, if they give you cloth that is complete, but that have a very, very big tummy, maybe the soul is very big. When you see yourself in the world, you will be complete, but your belly will be very, very big, as if you have illness. Do you, do you want him to say or? Oh. Okay, we have some minutes more. Let's Okay, go ahead. So, I now, they, they now sent me. When I went there, because to any, I, it's any place I wish that is where I will disappear. And where I will go is a place that I can meet that is very crowded. I will meet very large number of people. Rather in the bus stop, garage, park, anywhere that I can win or initiate people very well. So when I disappear and entered, when I, I, I came where I sat down as what they sent me for, you will see people walking. Anybody with a flame of fire around will never, will never ever have pity to give me money. The person will just pass. And the flame of fire means the real Christian, not Christian with mouth mean the real Christian and, but the real Christian the real Christian will never because in a Christian you have a flame of fire controlling the spirit being in you but when the flame of fire around you is not high that is where you argue with the spirit being in you when the spirit say move out from here you will bring your own suggestion. Let me sit there for five minutes. And that five minutes will be the time that something critical 
will happen to you. That shows that that flame of fire around you is not high. You are not a Christian. So, but any time that anybody that does not have flame of fire pass around, he will feel sympathy. He will have sympathy where I am. He will come to give me money as a beggar. They will give me, I will collect. This is how we keep on going. Anybody that does not have flame of fire pass around, he will contribute to me, he will help me. He will have pity where I am. And after everything, I will gather my children, I will put it on my private parts, I will find myself in the kingdom. Because anything that one does, there is a, a satellite in the kingdom that shows every activities that you do. So when I get to the kingdom, I took the whole money that they gave to me, I gave it to the king. And when I gave it to the king, the king congratulated me, and my rank came up a bit as the first attempt. Then, and that money I gave to the king, the king will use it to welcome those people in the dream. When, them, when they welcome them in the dream, he will also initiate them the same way I was initiated the first day I entered. So the second, uh, 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 the second thing that they sent, they sent me, they sent me I should go and act as a barrel pusher. In that market, anybody I carry his luggage is, uh, that is not, that does not have that flame of fire, We want me to help him and carry his luggage, maybe to where we enter a bus or a bike or whatever. It keep on happening like that. After everything, I will go back to my kingdom. Yeah. Why this, the third assignment was to the church. They called me and said that you are going to go to church to seduce church members. That was my, the third one and that looked a little bit uh, high than when I succeeded in this. It, that increased my rank very well. They said you are going to seduce people in the church. And I went, as I went, I went to the dressing room. They asked me, what is my mission? I told them, my mission is to go and seduce in the church of God. They said, okay, I should wait here. They went in. They went and gave me a cloth that has a, 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 a very, very strong perf, smelling perfume, very, very strong perfume. And I wore it, and I gathered my two hands, put it on my private part. I entered the church. So I have been going, this is what I am doing. I have been going of the whole churches in Nigeria. I have been going churches, different churches. That is just my mission. And that is what gives me more rank. And when I wear that cloth, if I'm inside the church, if you do not have that flame of fire, you will hear the smell of the perfume. And immediately you hear the f uh, smell of the perfume, you must ask me one question or another. You might ask me, brother, please, I don't be offended though. Please, what is your time? What is the time? I'll say, in the church. And I'll tell you, okay, the time is uh, maybe 2 o'clock or 12 o'clock. I have initiated you. I will still stay a bit. Someone, anybody that does not have that flame of fire around him, immediately you, receive, you must receive that, that smell of that perfume. You will ask me, hey, brother, please, uh, don't be offended though. Uh, uh, help me with your Bible. Let me use and jot, jot down a uh, 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 script. I say, okay, no problem. I will give you a Bible. Uh, both shoes, you might ask me, hey, brother, please, don't be offended though. Uh, uh, this shoe, I love it so much. Uh, can you tell me, you know, where you bought the shoe? I say, okay, uh, you know, where I buy, okay, give me your set. Let me give you the number of uh, the man I bought the shoe. This is how it keep on going. Yeah, big, big churches because, you know, we, uh, the devil, then, when I was in the in, 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 uh, spiritual kingdom, we go for the best. That is why we go for the big, big churches. I don't go for all these churches that are not recognized. I like going for the big, big churches. That is where I can make, you know, make more, more rank. My rank will come up. I pay tithe, huge amounts of tithe. And that tithe, I win more, you know, I initiate people more. When I pay the tithe and my offering, very huge. Then after when I leave, whosoever, any usher that that tithe touches, anybody that counts, the pastor, whosoever in the church that have anything to do with that tithe, uh, must come to the kingdom, must be welcome, and will be initiated. 
But after the initiation, the king does not retain them in the kingdom. He will still send them back to the church to stay out as that the same pastor, to stay out as that the same usher, attending to people. But it will now stand as a key to get more, to win more people, to initiate more people in the church. That is why in the house of God today, you know, we, we use the pastors, the ushers, and other workers in the church to initiate members to our kingdom very, very much. This is how we keep on going and keep on going here and there, here and there. But then, as all this thing was going on, I keep on doing there is this sacrifice, that the same strange thing that keep on going on with me. That's Idigu, the God of Iron. Anytime that things come on me, that power comes on me, I feel grief and I feel controlled immediately. Because my dad loved tra a training pigeon. Pigeon, he has pigeons so much. I will just move to where he trained pigeons secretly. I will hold one, I will catch the pigeon, I will take the pigeon, go to any secret place, especially uh, any place that there is river. That is where, so that I can take my bath after the sacrifice. I will use that pigeon, I will use my hand and squeeze it. Immediately I begin to turn the pigeon over my head, just for that blood to gush on my head. Immediately that blood begin to pour me on my head, I will regain myself. I will be I will be okay. But if I did not do that immediately, I will be I will be acting stupidly. Strange. I will not be myself. But immediately I use that uh, pigeon blood, it both foul, I still both foul, pigeon, anything that comes near me that has blood. If I pick it immediately, I go after I will pull when I get to the river I will pull my clothes, I will use the blood around me after I will enter the river and swim. I will take bath after I become a normal person I used to be. I will be very fine. So one day, as it normally happened to me, that thing came again. I rushed. I cast a, a, a fowl. Because any, sometimes my dad will see you know, the feather of a fowl all over a pigeon sometimes. Ah, what is uh, causing? Uh, is uh, what is happening with my uh, uh, pigeon? Uh, I will see the feather all over. I say it might be cats. Uh, maybe cats came to attack or take any of the distance. Just we just take it that it's cats. But he does not know really that I am the one doing all those things. So one day, one strange thing, another strange thing happened to me. As that odd came on me, I went and pick up catch fowl. I took it to the river. As I normally do the sacrifice, I squeeze the head, I begin to use the blood on my head. As I was doing it, doing it, I regained myself. I was okay. And I entered inside the river as I normally, uh, 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 as I does all the time. And only I enter, I saw someone on top of a river. Very beautiful lady. Very, very beautiful. And why when I saw that beautiful lady, I myself, I was inside that river. My waist is inside the river. Why? From my waist up, is outside, uh, outside the river. And that beautiful lady also that I saw there, her waist is inside the river. Why? From her waist up, is outside the river. I begin to uh, experience something automatically there. My mouth gets erected immediately. And immediately gets erected. I discharged, I released inside the water immediately. And immediately that thing happened to me. It seemed as if water, water entered through my nose. From me, I was struggling, I was not myself, the thing entered to my brain. It seems as if I fainted inside the water. So when I stayed a little bit, I realized I'm inside water. I jumped out from the water. I, I was confused. And I'll find a place near the river to lie down. I begin to, you know, I slept a bit to rest. And now dream again. Beautiful, you know, that the same person I saw on top of the water, you know, catching fun with me, making love with me. I wake up from sleep, I find again that I'm wet again. I have to go back and wash myself. That is how I begin to experience uh, that uh, 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 queen of the coast, queen of all queens. That is how that came to possess me again. Apart from he did with the oracle, the god of iron. So I now have another spirit in me. 
So anytime this thing keep on going, going up, going up like this, going up, then, then that strange thing that keep on happening when they send me to church, now because of my rank become higher, I don't like staying inside the house anymore or around the house. I love climbing on top of tree, the tallest tree near our compound. I will climb, I will be on top. If I just get to the top, that is where I will sleep. If I sleep, I will be in our kingdom. I will be there playing, you know, catching fun, eat food, very good food. And after everything again, I will come down. But one certain time, my dad discovered that. And anytime I see that, he will flog me because since I was born, my dad doesn't flog me with his cane. He used electric wire, a very big one. Because uh, he knows that I'm very, very strong. But that is what he used in flogging me, my dad. So, and when that thing keep on happening, my dad keep persuading, he took me to church. Oh, do this, do this. The kingdom became so grief. I attacked my father. They said, okay, since you want to stand, I want, you don't want to allow your son to serve us. Your business will not prosper anymore. They tackled my father. They put the way my father is today is at the result of what I cost him. Because my father, my father is into electrical, is able to take telecommunication into telecommunication. But because of this now, uh, no more anything of, uh, you know, call, you know, for equipment, radio message, everything ceased. Everything ceased that, that time. But if I'm in the house, we find it difficult to eat. But if I'm in the world, if I'm out, I will be hungry. I will manage the corn, the fry, I will eat, the purple, uh, on right purple, I will manage the But If I'm hungry, I will go to the kingdom, I will go and eat very nice food there. If I come back again, I will be very, very hungry. See, he has a lot to say, but I want to, because of time, where he stopped there, uh, he can still continue next, but let's just go straight to how many of you came here? Uh -huh. So, how I managed to come to Synagogue Church of All Nations. I went to my father's house one day. I was watching the telly because my dad loved watching Emmanuel TV all the time so as i was watching it that thing came on me ha ah, you know i have gone around the whole choice in nigeria eh? it remains tv joshua try tv joshua when you meet tv joshua eh? because how i used to know the glory eh, that is upon the man of god is that when i enter the church you the pastor when i look at you if i see your bold hair I will know that your power, my power is more than you. If I hold you, come out for deliverance, you pray everything, I will shout, Amen. GA, thank you, Father. Holy Ghost, fire everything. But I will not feel anything. Because you will lay your hand on me, I will not feel anything. But since I have gone around, I have, win, I have initiated people, only remaining this synagogue, Church of All Nations. So I now say, okay, this synagogue, Church of All Nations, this is where I will come so that I will defeat the pastor and I will be praised all over, all over the world. I became so, you know, very bold and now entered that because I don't stay in one state. Today I might go to this church. If I'm done with the church, I go to this church. If I'm done, this is how I keep on going to the whole churches in Nigeria. So one good Sunday, I came into this church as I entered where I was sitting in the other hall at the back. I was there. They announced uh, uh, any member that needs the anointing water should go outside, that the usher will direct you where you will get it, the tape and everything. I said, okay, I'm interested because I was very, very bold that I will subdue any power, anything they call it, I will subdue it, that I will be praised, I will be magnified. I know, yes, I'm on top of the world. I rushed out. I get those anointing water, I bought it. Immediately I bought it, I, I collected it, I came into the church, I sat down. Not quite long, I began to experience strange things about myself. 
constant urination started. I will go out, I will urinate, I will still come back, I will sit down. This keep on going on, going on, till the masters inside for the second service. But I was not still discouraged because I came for T.B. Joshua. Just to, if I can see his bare hair, then I will subdue him the way I have been doing to the whole churches in Nigeria. So when I came into the big church, I was inside. But that urination keep on going, coming. If I urinate. So I wanted to go out. The ushers on the door said, no, don't go anywhere that uh, they are praying. Then after the uh, prayer, you can go anywhere you want to pray. I said, no problem. So as people going about, uh, you know, the wise men going about, ah, uh, people falling. I said, ah, look at uh, they have started though. But I did not concentrate in that because I was watching if I will see TB Joshua. Because it's because of him I came. The prayer was going on. They were delivering people. People were falling, turning up and down everywhere. Stop because in the church, if I enter the church, all I see anybody that is afflicted, you will be upside down. That is how you know the initiated ones. So they we are praying, ah, but I did feel less concerned. So as I was later, I sat down. Someone came and touched me. I said, "Stand up, please, brother. That they have not pray, prayed for this line. Please don't be offended." And I stood up with boldness. Before I know, the wise man Daniel came at my foot immediately, lay his hand on my forehead, immediately lay his hand. I begin to receive as thousands of You, you say what? Let's take it back again. You say? No. You say wise man, uh, when wise man came to you uh -huh. when my uh, wise man daniel came to me he laid his hand before he laid his hand on me he laughed he said who is this uh, lady near me he laughed he laid his hand on me i received thousand slap instantly <laughs> i hit his hand off he laughed he left me he was he began to pray for that small time he came back again he laid that the same on me. I received that the same slap. Bah, 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 bah. God, I know, God, that something is really wrong with me. I became more grieved. Very, very grieved. Very, very grieved. He came very well on me. He said, Oh, yeah, follow me. I should follow him. I began to follow him. I but I was not myself. He now said, Oh, yeah, Mr. Man, shake me. He now brought out his hand. He said, I should shake him. I wanted to shake him, but his hand, I did not see hand. I, he was only showing me his hand. That's a flame of fire. Just only flame of fire. So, he forced me. I did not, I refused to uh, shake him. He persisted. When he started praying on me, praying, I, I turned. I, I became more aggressive. Immediately I thought I saw the cameraman was videoing me. I said, oh, this is the same way I watch people get delivered on Emmanuel TV. So is it why this man, this video camera, want to also video me that I that want to be exalted, want to be the king, they want to be on top of the whole world now to be videoed? No. I was aggressive and I began to pour my venom on top of to, uh, to the cameraman to blind his eye that was i wanted to blind his eye so immediately i want to it seems that if i have a mind that wise man daniel will we hear it immediately he went to the wise man daniel uh, the, uh, he went to the cameraman he laid his hand on the cameraman and began to pray for the cameraman immediately immediately you listen to what he's saying now. That is, his intention is to blind the cameraman. Because he was saying, ah, this is what I used to see in the TV. They want to camera him. 
and he's from a, a king or whatever he call it. Now, he now throw that saliva to, he want to blind the cameraman, he has that mind. But before you know it, it's not, it's a strength for a wise man to abandon the member and now went to the cameraman and started praying for the cameraman. And, and this, is, this is the thing he never said out, was imitating, was meditating it, that I will do this all inside him. But before he can, could throw that saliva, the wise man went to pray for the cameraman. Uh, why, okay, tell us. Okay, he prayed for cameraman, how? So immediately he prayed for the cameraman. That the same flame that was on him, the wise man Daniel came upon the cameraman seriously so i could not do anything again i watched the video camera was there i stood up i said okay since he, he, he prayed for the uh, 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 cameraman if i can uh, uh, use my venom to uh, uh, to close the front the screen of that uh, video camera if i would just use my venom to split on just to cover it i wanted to do it he commanded me he commanded me. He start commanded me. I became confused. I became confused because anything I have in mind, immediately he will be aware of it. He began to call fire. That was how I started. I, the thing began to burn me. Everywhere was hot. The whole place was not conducive. My cloth everywhere. It was not okay for me. I began to ask. So the only thing now I said, God, how will I that? You know, the only thing. I was trying to, you know, to blind the whole people around me, the, the people snapping me, everybody that is there. I want to blind their eye. But uh, the wise man, Daniel, refused. He was uh, pouring, uh, pouring the fire of God, praying, praying, praying. This keep on going on, going on, going on. I was not myself again. I am myself. I am misbehaving. I know I am misbehaving. But I cannot control myself. I cannot control myself. Every time I try to regain my power back, if I stood up, when you see me, if I stood up, I stood up as I reinforced myself. That power came back again. But that fire again, I will not be myself. I will fall down. This is how this thing keep on happening, happening, happening. Say suddenly, you know, I, I, where I sat down in the front, he began to say, a, a, a fire, fire, a, a face of a war. As he was saying that thing, the fire became so much. Where I sat down, if I I want to react. It will seem as if my they want to touch a, a wall around me, which is a, 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 a flame of fire. That is how that wall was around me. If I want to move, that thing could not allow me. I now sat down that place. I respect my, respect, I respected myself so that the fire will not burn me more than the way it's tormenting me. For me not to touch that wall of flame of fire. And I sat down there. Then after everything, till the following morning. I think we, where he stopped. Let's just hear one or two from the father. Let's hear one or two where from the father. He will continue where he stopped now. Let's hear one or two where from the father. Because he has an experience. Is what he's telling you, his activity. He Why is uh -huh. Okay. If I may remember some, one of, some of your confession, this year also engaged you to, 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 to key people, to collect something by force from people. The way that do happen to me is that any time that I am broke, if I don't have money, if I'm cobbleless, that grief will come in me. I will be very, very aggressive. I will come out both in the bank, on the road. If I look at you, if you are shining, if you are shining seriously, I will know, yes, you are with my money. I will walk to you, I will touch you, I say, give me my money. And you will take the money and that nylon, you will give me immediately. I will say, I go, you will move. I, I don't walk, I don't do anything for living, but I live flamboyantly. I buy a car today, uh, before two weeks, I sell it. I live flamboyantly and I win so by spending for people. Spending, that's how I win so. Initiate people. If I spend for you, give you money, that's your money. Every, that is how I initiate people. That is my duty. Churches are around, paying tight. 
helping people, the winning soul all over Nigeria. Just for what? For what? For me to be what? The king of all, all over Nigeria. That is why I do that. And what I have initiated millions of people. You will see them handcuffed. I have killed people with my hand. I have the power I command this human being. If, if I need money now, if I meet you now, touch you, give me my money. You give it to me. Even though you are inside the car, if I knock the car, Mr. Man, wind down, you wind down. Give me my money, you will take the lie long. But sometimes there is one strange thing. If I enter the bank, I might see you withdrawing money. Huge amount of money to put it in Lylon. But you will not shine. And you will not shine because there is that flame around you. I know that some people, not all people, just there are not many. And if I see that flame around you, you will not shine. And because you do not shine, I know that it's not my money. That I might go and touch that person and I receive embarrassment. But when I see that you start shining, both you or your cow, I know it's my money. I'll walk straight to you inside the bank. I will touch you, Mr. Man. Give me my money and you give me my money. I will hold it. I will say you can go out. You go out. Then I will walk out majestically from the bank. That if you agree. You have listened to that. Let's hear from the father. Yes. Hey, man. How are you, sir? Ah. You are welcome. Amen. The, what I want to say to the whole world, my name is Anthony Ebroka. I'm a father to the boy. What I want to say to the whole boy, to the whole world, is that parents, I notice that human race is in trouble. If my son can in this mood, I'm a disciplined father to the core. And uh, this my son when he was when he was young, I I, I follow him so much, I monitor them. And uh, most of the time, honestly, I suffer so much in the life of this boy. I have them here. At that time, honestly, I'm into telecommunication, but to eat is a problem. I, the attitude of my children, I notice it. If you see them, they are very humble. If you want to receive something for they will go down with two hands. But if you see them in my house, they are just like lion. Nobody, this boy, if you are ten fighting, you are wasting. He will beat all of you. He will beat all of you. The last case I had. They were even saying it. At the end, police were ashamed. They say he came to disarm them. You can't beat him like what he said. And they look at the junior ones. Look at the girl. The girl is next to him. Honestly, I suffered. I must be frank with you. That's a time a man near him, uh, maybe to chase her, he, he beat the man, he used bottle and remove one of his teeth. And uh, just, it's not even up to this, uh, this stage then. I have to take, that will have a riot in Cardinal State. We'll have, uh, I took the, child, to, the man to hospital and uh, put another artificial teeth. The junior ones, you don't see somebody to come to my house to fight. Sorry, to, to play with them. You can't play with them. But, because they are hot. But if you see them on the road, they are very humble. And uh, and they are trying to see they are fighting, see if lions are fighting. They have discovered that our origin is from Benin, and from Delta. Our origin is from Benin. And the, the, the time I came out is called Ancholona, in Delta State. Why village inside that Olona is Ishebe? I trace from Benin, they call Ishebe a village, but that means lion head. They say this they use in going to war. Like my village in Olona, it's a very stubborn village. You don't dare near them. If it is fight, their fight is always deadly. Then this thing is saying, 
Idigu is an idol worship by my by the as uh, by the forefathers. My elder brother came up out of ignorance. He started worshiping it. Like we were all involved. I don't know what it means. Then, at the end of it, when I the mother came to me, I was to marry her. Before then, he gave birth to this the two of them, these two first. And uh, there was riot in Kaduna. Then he left all Lagos for schooling then. Other man took over and married there. Because things were tough. Honestly, things were tough. She couldn't manage it because I didn't pay her bribe. Then he went to Lagos and married, get married, pay the bribe and everything. That's what they're with each other. At the age of two, thank God today, I waited seven years before the other this woman came up as my wife and uh, from two years she started managing them. But she finds it very hard, honestly. They have to give glory and they have a son to sing to God, to the glory of God. Then when she was pregnant in this, for this boy, I sent them to Ansoka, Enugu State, a town in Enugu State, because I don't have experience in this. Getting there, my brother discovered that. Yeah, look at my brother, so my elder brother. So he did that, that this is the adult concussion, and I gave the mother water to drink. And the mother took the water. And this boy was born to the family. Then, since this boy was born, honestly, I have never experienced peace in my life. Like he said, the father suffered. That is the truth. Even my relations abandon me. This sickness to hear times I was carrying my shoulder, going everywhere alone. I said, what is all these things? To, but thank God for today. He has come up. But parents should be careful on their children. Anytime he comes to me, but before coming to this place, he came to me about two months ago. Then we were together. He stayed with me for one month. Glory be to God for Emmanuel TV. Then he was watching the, this he was watching it, and uh, at, uh, he, did, he didn't come with any wears. He, he put on my own, he picked one of my own wear. If he wear it, I will refuse to wear it again. And if he do, I refuse to. So, I don't collect it, I don't eat his money. He has the money, I don't see with a million more before. He, but if, even if he buy bread and come, I won't eat it. And I'm in good time with him. But the spirit in me rejected it. One day, there's one of my neighbor there. He came and saw what was happening. Now, he suspected. He said, why is it that he doesn't eat his, uh, when his child wear his cloth, he doesn't wear it back. I said, until they wash it, or oh, I will provide it. At times, I don't wear the bonnet. Until when this man saw what happened in the, on the TV, he said, wow, that is spiritual. So, you see why I'm saying to parents that uh, many men, many parents die out of ignorance. Honestly, I, if not the grace of God in my life, look at what happened with people who are spiritual. Look at what happened. Look at the battle fought with the spiritual man. Talk place of me, who is in the Nazi school in the spirit. <laughs> I, I thank God today. So when he came, because he watched TV Joshua 24 hours in my house, so he got... Convinced so, so I was coming back from church on Sunday. They call me daddy. I mean, a TV Joshua play. I say, glory be to God. He said, can you buy an anointing water for me? I say, good. For him to prove, show me that he's there. Then, we came back to home. We, then, we took to the channel. The sister, the brother saw, they saw him. They said, look at him. He look at brother, look at brother. I say, glory be to God. When the battle was going on, later they could, I was praying. God take control. God take control. God take control. At the, at the end, the whole thing, as if he fell. I said, wow. Again? So later I heard that uh, the next day, so I saw him sitting on the chair. The next day, he called me that, Daddy, I'm no more there. I said, where are you? He said, I'm outside. I want to deal with TV Joshua. <laughs> hey, I said. I start calling the line. Calling the line. They say he's there, they are monitoring him. I said, no, you're out. 
He called me again. I said, where are you going to go? He said, they collect my handset. If I'm coming, I said, go back, they'll give it to you. Now, he said, no, let me go and prepare myself first. I said, good. We got our prayer and the, I said, we started praying, let him prepare and go back to the house. So, at the end, I called the house and they say, they say, that the truth is no more there. Then, but I shouldn't go away. They, they saw the way I was disturbing them. That the Holy Ghost have changed them. Can I glory be to God for this ministry? I, I thank God that this boy delivered. Glory to God. Nous allons entendre la confession de ce jeune homme qui dit que tout a commencé lorsque sa mère était enceinte de plus de 11 mois de lui et que le frère de son, de son père a été voir l'idole appelée Idigou demandant à sa mère pour s'accoucher en toute sécurité après 11 mois de grossesse prolongée. Il a récupéré l'eau de cette idole, a donné à sa mère à boire et c'est comme ça que sa mère est entrée en labeur et a donné naissance, lui a donné naissance. Il a dit que depuis ce jour, le dieu Idigou, le dieu du fer, habite en lui. Jusqu'à ce qu'il ait 6 ans ou 7 ans, il y avait toujours des plaintes à l'école qui se battaient toujours avec des gens plus grands que lui. Mais même s'il était vain, il pouvait toujours les battre. Et son père ne comprenait pas quelle était la force qu'il avait en lui. Il a dit qu'un jour, parce qu'avec la marque qu'il avait dans son corps, la marque du diable dans son corps, il se retrouvait toujours dans la présence de gens de, de, du même royaume que lui. Jusqu'à ce qu'il ait un festival, que des gays femmes lui donnent à manger, que le soir même se retrouve en rêve dans le royaume des ténèbres, où il a été initié l'abus du sang humain et a commencé à recevoir des missions de ce royaume des ténèbres. En recevant cette mission, le, la première mission était d'être un mendiant, de pouvoir récupérer de l'argent des gens à l'extérieur pour pouvoir les ramener au royaume, pour les initier. La deuxième mission, d'aider les gens au marché pour pouvoir les initier dans son royaume. Et la troisième mission, que la mission la plus difficile, ils ont beaucoup plus de personnes dans les églises, pour pouvoir initier les membres des églises qui ne sont pas très forts dans le Seigneur, qui ont une petite flamme de feu. Mais si vous avez une grande flamme de feu, et pas vous atteindre, mais si votre flamme est petite, et bien vous atteindre. Ça de séduire les membres de l'église, elle dit qu'elle a séduit beaucoup de membres de l'église à cause du parfum qui a été donné dans son royaume. Si vous demandez d'emprunter juste un bic ou demandez leur vous êtes déjà initié lorsqu'il vous parle. Elle a dit qu'elle a aussi porté beaucoup d'argent dans les églises, amené des dîmes, des offrandes à de ces dîmes. Lorsque vous touchez cet argent, vous êtes déjà initié dans son royaume. Elle dit que des millions sont enchaînés dans le royaume à travers les initiations qu'il a créées, à travers l'argent et le parfum qui lui a été donné de son royaume des ténèbres. Elle a dit que vraiment qu'il a été partout, il a été dans différentes églises, les plus grandes églises au Nigeria, il a été dans toutes les églises au Nigeria, il a pu initier beaucoup de monde, il a dit qu'il lui manquait juste l'église, la synagogue, l'église de toute nation. Elle a dit, je veux voir quelle puissance que le prophète Tibi Joshua a. Il a dit que s'il avait le prophète Tibi Joshua, il serait maintenant le roi du Nigeria. C'est comme ça qu'il est venu à la synagogue, l'église de toute nation, et qu'il a été arrêté par l'eau d'onction premièrement, et ensuite l'homme sage qui a commencé à prier pour lui, et aujourd'hui complètement libre. Véngase pendiente, continuamos con los televidentes con esta maravillosa liberación. Escuchamos eh, la confesión de su padre y de este joven que viene junto con toda su familia, puesto que viene a celebrar la liberación de este hombre. Escuchamos la voz de su padre diciendo que definitivamente había tenido muchos problemas, muchos conflictos con este jovencito, puesto que desde pequeño tenía muchos problemas sobrenaturales de pelea y de conflicto alrededor de él. El joven nos platica que él eh, fue iniciado a través de la ayuda de su tío, el cual vemos en la pantalla, que desde que estaba su mamá embarazada, tenía un problema de embarazo, el bebé dentro de su vientre, el cual su papá fue por ayuda y llamó a su tío, y su tío la llevó con el ídolo de la familia, así fue como fue iniciado, como el, el dios del ídolo en la familia, el dios del hierro. Y de, así fue como él creció en este ambiente satánico y de ocultismo en el cual lo llevaba a diferentes misiones. Se nos platica que desde joven le parecían cosas extrañas, sin embargo, él las hacía. Era en reuniones en donde después de alabar al ídolo, ellos bailaban, hacían ritos de sangre, tomando sangre fresca humana, en donde usaban asambleas, en donde se sentaban en cuerpos humanos se estaban eh, bailando y sentados en esa asamblea eh, en personas humanas en el cual en donde el rey era un hombre de cabeza estaba de cabeza en tanto que los pies estaban boca arriba y así es como caminaba con el ídolo también con diferentes cabezas y hacían ritos eh, de sangre eh, eh, a través de, de estos ritos satánicos así fue como fue iniciado como el, el ídolo de hierro. También fue iniciado eh, a través del agua, en problemas de ritos de, de agua, y fue como fue, como el reino 
el, el, fue iniciado como reina de la costa, fue cuando él se encontró en el agua, la mitad del cuerpo en el agua y la mitad del cuerpo hacia afuera, igual una mujer con la mitad del cuerpo en el agua y la mitad hacia afuera, así fue como fue iniciado con este rito de agua como reina de la costa, dándole poderes eh, satánicos. Bien, así es como este hombre nos ha platicado en grandemente cómo fue y cómo, cómo fue su, su, su iniciación hasta la vida de 27 años. Continuamos con esta confesión, este joven liberado completamente por el poder de resurrección de nuestro Señor Jesucristo a través de las facultades del hombre sabio Daniel. Manténgase pendiente en unos momentos más. Continuamos con esta confesión de este joven finalmente libre de estos eh, dos espíritus, espíritu del de ídolo de hierro y ese espíritu de la costa, de la reina de la costa. Continuamos. Emmanuel, my, my, my name is Martin Eboka. I'm from Delta State, on a child order in Anyocha, local government. I based that in Sukame Builder. I'm the one serving the idol called call Idigu, but I enter inside out of ignorance because my people say that uh, nobody is having it again, but they, they say it's for protection. If I carry on, it's for protection and for, for good. And you know, I'm a builder. I said, I will do, I will do the tradition. I do the tradition, carry it up. So, I'm be serving the thing anyway, as they serve it. But after a certain time, this my junior brother brought the wife to me, has a problem of the living baby. After 11 months, the, the, the color started to change. I said, okay, I'm serving this thing. Let me go to uh, the idol. Uh, uh, let me go to the seers, all these our, our far people, to ask them what's happening. I went there. The man said, well, I, "I have an idol called Idiu. I should use water, wash it just like stone. Wash it one tumbler. If I wash it one tumbler, I will give the woman to drink. So if you drink um, that day, he will, he will start to labor and they will burn." I said, "Okay." It was on Sunday. I went and called the woman and said, we will drink. I said, okay. The, 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 the delivery don't pass in 11 months. He said, we will drink. I said, okay. I washed the water. I told her that they had a meeting. I moved to my meeting in the afternoon. Come back around the 7. My, my wife is not in the house. He said, he said, they went to the hospital. I said, okay. Around 10 o'clock, somebody comes in. My brother's wife has delivered a baby boy. Oh, I said, thank God, the same day. So I continue worshiping this thing. What was that around? Nothing goes for me. I said, okay, I'm watching this thing for that. Nothing moves. My wife said, stop. It doesn't sell again. My job, no way. My children, promise and fail. No, none of my daughter has married. And I myself, I turned to become a drunkard. So I don't know what I'm doing again. I've been planning to come to TV Joshua to know what is happening in my life. But I thank God when my uh, brother sent this message that he, 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 uh, our son is there, that I should come there, they asked us to come. I was so, that's why I fight and borrow me to come here, because to feed is on top of war. So now, I, when I'm, what I'm begging him, say, I need my deliverance, so I beg. So, um, So I decided to enter, follow God. But if you if you lose your God before you get it back, it will be hard, though, because it's not that easy to lose your God. If you lose and to regain it back, it's, it's, I don't destroy the house of that illegal, throw it away inside the water. But now my, but, but since then I don't see any spirit to tell you the fact. But the spirit I'm seeing is things are hard for me, so that's the problem. I'm planning to come here, but I thank God. As I'm here, man of God, deliver me. Nous venons d'entendre du frère, du père Denis. C'est effectivement ce frère qui a donné l'eau 
qui venait de l'oracle et du goût, car c'était lui qui servait cet édigo pour la protection de la famille. Parce qu'il y a l'eau justement à la mer Denis. C'est de là, là qu'elle a pu accoucher après 11 mois de grossesse prolongée. Nous avons eu Denis, comme elle a été possédée de l'esprit des dégoûts depuis sa naissance. Elle a dit que chaque fois que cet esprit vient sur lui, cette couleur qui monte en lui, il doit peser ce dieu Idigou, le dieu du fer, en faisant un sacrifice. Soit il prend un pigeon, il prend un poulet qu'il coupe, euh, qu'il déchire la tête avec les mains et répand le sang, asperge le sang sur sa tête jusqu'à ce que justement ce dieu, cette déité soit apaisée en lui. Il a dit qu'après cela, il rentre dans la rivière pour pouvoir se baigner. C'est là qu'un jour, il a rencontré la reine de la côte à l'intérieur de la rivière, qu'il a pu, qu'il a eu des rapports sociaux avec cette reine dans la rivière, qui depuis cette reine l'a possédé avec le dieu du Diego. Et grâce à ce dieu et cette reine, il a dit qu'il a l'habitude de pour commander les êtres humains, de commander euh, une telle personne de donner son argent, cette personne donne de l'argent. Il a dit qu'il a la, la puissance de tuer, la puissance de commander les êtres humains et de faire beaucoup de choses du mal, car il appartenait au royaume des ténèbres. Il a entendu le, son oncle confirmé que effectivement cette eau a été donnée à sa mère euh, avant sa naissance pour confirmer comment le dieu Idigo, le dieu du fer, l'a pédé. Et cet homme aussi dit que ce dieu Idigo a détruit sa famille, que les gens de sa famille ne réussissent pas, ils ne sont pas mariés que lui-même, il a besoin de délivrance, il demande la délivrance dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Continuons avec cette confession, de cette libération de ce homme avec des espíritus impuros, contraires. Acabamos d'écouter la voix de son dieu, mentionnant comment fue que fue iniciado su sobrino, el joven que vimos con estas liberaciones. Se nos platica que fue cuando su hermano le pidió por ayuda, puesto que su esposa tenía ya 11 meses de embarazada y sin ningún poder, sin ningún resultado de poder dar a luz positivamente. Él eh, acudió al ídolo del pueblo, en el cual él, él eh, ungió con agua el ídolo, posteriormente o forzó, o dio a esta mujer beber de esa agua, y él después, posteriormente, se enteró que finalmente dio luz, eh, y que su hermano había tenido un varón bebé. Así es como él, este, este joven fue iniciado, y así es como hoy, hace 27 años, este joven ha sufrido de esta iniciación satánica de espíritus impuros, diabólicos contrarios a los de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. También nos platica que desde entonces su vida no tiene ningún progreso. Sus hijos, no, sus hijas, ninguna de ellas está casada, no hay progreso. De hecho, sus negocios, su tienda en donde él trabaja, nada prospera, nada en su vida eh, parece mover hacia un futuro posible. Así es que esto es lo que nos platica a través de esa acción que llevó a esa mujer a ayudar a hacer este ídolo para poder dar a luz. Manténgase pendiente, según continuamos con esta confesión de esta liberación de este joven de espíritus de ídolo de hierro y de una mujer de la reina, si es que manténgase pendiente, continuamos. Nous avons aussi entendu quelques minutes auparavant le père Denis qui dit que son enfance est un moment très difficile lorsqu'Eni était enfant. Il a dit que cela a été très difficile pour lui lorsqu'il a perdu son travail et Eni a confirmé que son royaume fait que son père a perdu son travail, qu'il n'avait plus d'argent pour pouvoir renouer dans la famille. Il a dit qu'il a souffert de cela mais qu'il rend grâce à Dieu pour Emmanuel Télévision. La grâce à Emmanuel Télévision, c'est là qu'Eni a pu voir l'homme de Dieu pour Fatima de Choix qu'il a décidé de venir ici à la synagogue église et qu'il a reçu sa délivrance, bien qu'il ne soit pas venu pour sa délivrance, le Saint-Esprit l'a arrêté. Nous avons entendu aussi Denis que lorsque le Saint-Esprit l'a arrêté ici, chaque fois qu'il voulait que l'Esprit lui disait de, de faire une action, c'est comme si l'homme sage connaissait sa pensée, entendait sa pensée et réagissait avant lui et envoyait le feu du Saint-Esprit. Il a déclaré ensuite la gloire à Dieu de ce qu'il a été délivré aujourd'hui de cette mission de ce royaume des ténèbres. Emmanuel. Uh, children of God all over the world, I thank God. I'm very, very happy. Today is my most happiest day. <laughs> Ever since my deliverance, I'm now a man that God made me to be. Very happy. Before I don't dream, but now I dream. Everything I sleep well. I read the scripture, I pray, I'm very, very, those things about hitness or whatever, I don't feel anything again. And I want to use this opportunity, you see, to beg Nigerian. I don't see Idigo anymore. The uh, queen of queen, queen of the coast, I don't see anything of that nature anymore. Begging the whole Nigerian Ghana that I have offended by commanding them to give me their money. I am begging you in the name of God 
forgive me the wise man Daniel that for you know acting being so stubborn I'm very very sorry I'm pleading because what I saw was not what I expected at a point I begin to even beg to leave church I was not even sent to see the TV Joshua again because the fire was much it's only it was even the wise man Daniel that was dealing with me like this later after the delivery i was saying within myself if that is tb joshua maybe i might fire my bond inside the church <laughs> so so please i want to use this opportunity to check tb joshua for going to station there are two stations to go and make my report for arresting or whatever. Please, I'm very, very sorry for that. Forgive me. People of God, help me to rejoice as I have win, initiated millions of souls for devil. I will serve God, win so, win billions of souls for God all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Alléluia, vous l'avez entendu, Denis qui a reçu sa délivrance, il a dit que maintenant, il se sent libre, il se sent très léger, qu'il n'a plus euh, ses mauvais rêves qu'il avait l'habitude d'avoir, il ne voit plus la reine de la côte, ni le dieu du fer, il dit qu'il est complètement libre, il a dit qu'il veut supplier les gens du Nigeria qui l'a volé de l'argent de le pardonner, il veut aussi demander à l'homme sage pardon de sa réaction, de, ce, de son comportement vis-à-vis -vis de lui, et demander aussi pardon pour le type de choix de l'avoir reporté à deux stations de police, il a dit que vraiment, il rend toute la gloire à Dieu pour cette église, car l'homme sage qui l'a qu délivré avait vraiment le feu du Saint-Esprit, alors qu'il voulait voir pour le type de choix, peut-être que le feu l'aurait consumé immédiatement, il rend toute la gloire à Dieu parce que le Dieu euh, vivant vit dans cette église et que de la même façon qu'il a gagné des millions d'âmes pour le royaume des ténèbres, il veut gagner maintenant des milliards d'âmes pour le royaume de Dieu partout dans le monde. Il fait cette promesse dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Awesome God, Almighty God, Awesome God.
Thank you. Amen. Amen. Ah. So this is the man the brother was mentioning, Martins Martins, have you? Because I there is a confession concerning Martins. Baba that was saying he need deliverance. Don't worry. I think the the I don't know the name they call it, is it a Dubo or whatever. He has uh, occupied the young man. Uh, was just this man was uh, well, but they will still have to. They will pray for him. But the main man is that guy, this boy that was delivered. So uh, no problem. The wise man will touch them. But uh, uh, yes, the root has been the uh, approach. The wise men will touch them, so thank you. All of them will be touched today, be delivered. So congratulations. So thank you. Thank you. You lead them. Just have, get them something to eat. Okay. So thank you. Hallelujah.